So one of the things that I want to show you um, as we've been through all of this is um, with when you're dealing with mannequins, and especially if, if you're in a better store with really good quality mannequins, these mannequins are decent and, and they're good solid mannequins yeah. and they serve us very well. But you want to take rings and any, anything that will scratch the mannequin, you can see it, they get a lot of wear and tear. They just get beat up. Um, so you want to take rings off and all that, anything that was scratched. The other thing is, this is the hard metal uh, key that goes in her, that locks into her body in the socket. So one of the things that I always do is I take my hand and put my hand over that. And then for this, this is a, actually a very difficult thing to deal with. A straight arm is much easier. So one of the things is to st stick it through and draw the material, draw the garment up all the way through. And then use that hand where the key is to guide the key right to the socket. And then you just can't be shy. That's can't one. Be shy. You can't be shy with the mannequins. <laughs> they're not. They're not embarrassed. So you can't be embarrassed either. Um, and there you go. You hear the Lock click it. and it locks, it locks in. in. And then once you've got all the pieces locked in, so show them how we put oh. the okay, how that so that keys in. So this is the hand. So you you put it in the key like that, and then you lock it. Right. And she's a hands-on hips girl, so she will. So it's like that. She has an attitude like this. Then then once you get everything in place, oh. you can do you can style her like I, I notice we've got this turned up, we wouldn't want to match that. We also layered her. We put a, a, a logo sweat under her just so there was some more contrast in the mannequin right. rather than white printed t-shirt with white arms. So she could be, and this is actually <laughs> kind of perfect layering for San Francisco. It could be cold. warm in the summer and freezing in the afternoon. So she's ready for the pride parade. Yeah. So um, again, we have postering that will go in the window to use with her. Um, and let's show them real quick. We have some propping of, that we may or may not use, but we like, we, we went to the fabric store the other day and we found a nice satin ribbon on sale. So we bought a bolt. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of Easter rainbow. <laughs> um, and not sure exactly how we were gonna use it, maybe in streamers. Um, and what we decided was that with all the color in the merchandise that we're showing, we don't really need to embellish it too much more, push, push that. But we did think of maybe some confetti, like parade confetti that could be on the floor around her. So again, we may or may not use that. That's always, it's always great to have some options in terms of propping. Better to have it and not need it mm -hmm. than to install a window and then go, it needs something, what does it need? And then you're running around scrambling for. So um, there's that. W again, we may or may not add that to the mix. Um, so th this is for the window that's right behind us. Um, the other window, which we kind of uh, strategized about yesterday, is behind you, behind the camera. So we're going to go this way. While we're over here, I just wanted to mention, um, in the first iteration of the, of the pop-up store, these pieces, these frameworks, they're actually, all, uh, they're actually shallow or hollow pedestals. They were tall pedestals that were made to feature shoes when we did the pop-up store for the spring show. And they were brightly colored and they were all individual um, pedestals that could be grouped and regrouped. Um, so when we moved into this store, we needed a shoe fixture um, or into this space, we needed a shoe fixture, but we didn't want to use the same thing. We, we wanted to do something different. So <clears throat> one of the students turned things sideways and we started stacking and turning things around. And all of a sudden we have a permanent shoe fixture that we could act actually attach to the wall, um, painting everything out so it's really harmonious. Um, so, and voila, we have a shoe fixture, uh, which was uh, a shoe fixture until probably about a week ago. And um, this is another printing project from the textile class from um, at least two semesters ago. I think maybe last summer. Um, they were given an assignment by uh, a local drag queen named Juanita Moore, who does a lot of charity work for AIDS organizations. And um, she gave them lots of imagery of herself, um, other things, her dog. She has a little French bulldog named Jackson. Um, and they created bags to sell. 
and the bags were sold and the profits were uh, given to the AIDS organization, the nonprofit. So we're happy to still have some of those. Um, and in fact, we're going to feature one in our window. So over here, as we were thinking about the pride rainbow, and we saw some references to this as we looked at other windows down the streets um, in the bigger retail stores, um, why not pull merchandise from the store and sh show it in a series that conveys that rainbow idea, that equality idea. Um, originally, we thought that we would pull all one type of merchandise, maybe the the t-shirts the with um, printing um, from the students. S so we didn't have enough of one group of anything, so we actually decided to cross merchandise and pull from several different brands and several different labels. Um, and so this actually, with on, it's actually going to go in the window exactly like this. Again, sort of shows an array of what's available here in the store. It gives that pride thing. Thank you so much, Matt. And, and then again, just adding a little bit of flavor here with two accessory items. So that's what's going to go in the store that's, I mean, into the window that's right behind Julie. Um, another thing that I would mention is that <laughs> these two guys are still relevant. So we want to get my <coughs> excuse me, we want to get mileage out of our feature presentations. So what will happen is, since we don't need the mannequins themselves to be undressed, these this pair, this couple will probably come out and go live in another part of the store because again, it's still a relevant, nicely uh, pulled together. Um, group of merchandise and um, so again this will probably go as we move the store around um, in the next few days this will have a little bit more life on the selling floor before it gets changed out again so that's where we're going now we're gonna we're gonna take these out and we're gonna install the the series of rainbow t-shirts um, one of the things that you always do when you're working in retail windows is take your shoes off you don't want you don't want shoe pattern on the on the floor and we have black painted floors so it really shows up a lot of dirt so <clears throat> that's what you do you're always in there in your sock in your sock feet so maybe one of the things just for safety purposes we take this off um, these guys are actually rather heavy so I'm, we're gonna do this together okay. and what I will do is I will lift him up and you can lift the base okay. now the base is really weighted and very heavy it's a heavy metal base okay. so it's going to take a little bit of, of elbow okay. strength okay but I will lift him off okay. and then if you there you go just, okay so if you just set it down um, yeah uh, or even right over here is fine just so we can get to our new girl and then help guide me to the post hole in his leg yeah there you go all right sweet oops Ow. <laughs> i'm okay yeah okay you gotta be very careful with mannequins it's true they they will beat you up they'll beat me up yeah they beat you up okay that's gonna go viral now <laughs> Okay. All right, so same thing. I will take her. Okay. And this stem is a little bit loose, so you may want to roll it and tighten it up a little bit. Okay. Like this? Yep. Thanks, Julie, Sorry, for being no willing to be less than ladylike in your dress hey, you know and what? heels. That's okay. That's visual merchandising. You know, I always <laughs> wear dresses. I wear dresses like 90% of the time. Like, I think I wore jeans like the first time yesterday. <laughs> the longest time. Okay, so okay. then what we can do. You don't, you don't mind. I, wanna, I don't want to go barefoot, so I'm just kind of like. No, it's all right. Um, <laughs> one of the things that we would do, and I need to um, maybe run back and see if there's something that we could quickly mop the floor with. Sure. Um, not a full on mop but just a dusting so we get sure. some of the dust out of the way 
Another thing that's really key is to, um, and when I worked in larger companies with big windows, big stores, um, you have a team, someone on your team who's on a walkie-talkie. Now we just use cell phones, but a long time ago we'd have walkie-talkies so that the person outside looking at the window could say, move that to the left a little bit, move it to the right, or the, the blue shirt is out of place, right? So let's get this guy in place. And, right. right. Yeah. And so maybe, maybe what you could do, Julie, yeah. is go outside and give us an eyeball about does it look like it's in the basically the right place? Okay. Tell me what needs to come forward, what needs to move back, and you can just, yep. we'll sign language it. No problem. Okay? Um, it's a very simple window. It looks good from this, way, from this side. Yeah. Um, the other thing that you would want to do as a final touch, once everything is actually perfectly in place, um, is to arrange, rearrange the lighting because whatever was in here before had a different focal point. So you would probably want to rearrange these lights. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't have a I don't have a glove, mm -hmm. um, and these are hot. So, but before we go today, I will refocus the light so all of this light really needs to bounce off the these colors mm -hmm. really beautifully. So it really really pops out um, to the to the sidewalk and to the to the street. Okay, that's it.